you in this bulletin here on Blueprint Explosive Exclusives Election Premier League. First up, we're going to be speaking about the much controversial Kerala story. Well, the political controversy over this film has surrounded it all throughout. The screening of the film on Doordarshan TV has been scheduled for today. It has sparked off a heated political dispute between the left and the right wing groups. Now, Kerala Chief Minister Pinari Vijayan himself has called Doordarshan's move to screen the Kerala story in the state contemptible and demanded its withdrawal, alleging that it could incite communal tension ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Vijayan in a statement has said that Doordarshan should not be allowed to become a propaganda machine of the BJP and the RSS. Both the UDF and the LDF have have now joined hands to oppose the screening of this film. In fact, leader of opposition as well as Congress leader V.D. Sathisan has written to the election commission as well, urging it to direct Doordarshan to withdraw its decision to screen this Kerala story has also gone to the extent of saying that Doordarshan is being turned into a hate factory. Listen in. It is uh, an unfortunate incident and it is uh, it is a family we can say that it is an unfair practice it is not fair practice it is uh, it is against the values of the indian constitution so uh, we would like to uh, protest against uh, this unholy practice to be honest that's utterly shameful because when the kerala story came out everyone pointed out this is not the real kerala story kerala is a state of social harmony it's a state of social harmony and coexistence. It is not a state that is some sort of mini Pakistan as the film tries to show. Look, a Kerala file ho, ya Kashmir file. Wo sab be buniyat thi, chhoot thi, farab thi. Mulk mein ek tazad pada karne ki koshish ki gayi. Hindu aur Muslimano ko alag karne ki koshish. Yehi wo kar rahe hain aur Allah kare ye kabi kamyab na ho. Meanwhile, the BJP has alleged that there was an unofficial ban on the film in the theatres of the state and now the left government in Kerala was trying to stop the film from being aired on Doordarshan as well. Well, BJP Nedas have questioned Kerala's ruling alliance over its opposition to Doordarshan's decision to air the film and said that there was a bit to stifle freedom of expression. Listen in to this political war of words. Pinaray Vijan, the Chief Minister of Kerala, is extremely worried that the Kerala story may create problems. Yes, he's right. It will create problems for Pinray Vijayan because he was in charge when this incident as portrayed in the film happened. See, Kerala story is a film which was given permission by the censor board. So I don't understand why. So it is a uh, right that is given, right to expression is something that is there, which is part of the constitution. Look, the Kerala story is there, or Kashmir Files are there, they have been in many criminal, criminal, cruel, criminal, और के कारनामों को बेनकाब किया है काले कारनामों को बेनकाब किया है अब जब इस तरह के कमनल और क्रूर काले कारनामे बेनकाब होंगे तो लोगों में बौखलाहट होगी well, let me go across to our panelists today. Joining us, Charu Pragya, spokesperson of the BJP, Kevin Matthews, as well as Lokesh Jindal, political analyst. I'm going to come to you, Kevin Matthews, first, because it's interesting. I remember just a few months back, we had the BBC docu-series, India, the Modi question. All the free speech advocates, the crusaders, came out and said that this is illegal to stop any form of film because it is free speech. Today, it's the same people. We just heard their own sound bites. These are the same people today who don't want Kerala story to be screened. Why are there different goalposts being set every time, depending on which ideology you belong to over freedom of expression? Does that keep changing? Uh, madam, let me tell you this. There is, uh, they can use PM Narendra Modi's personal Facebook handle, Twitter handle, or they can use their BJP official channels to do this. When you're spending taxpayers' money to propagate fallacies and absolute untruths. It's not a campaign a, movie. It's a movie. It is a campaign movie. Let us call Who decides? Call, uh, Censor board gave it a clearance. So who decides? The state government will decide. 
the censor board is also uh, has become a propaganda um, see it's all from the central government it's by the bjp government bjp mm-hmm. government is using the taxpayers money and the taxpayer uh, the nation's missionary to further their agenda their communal agenda two things sorry to interrupt you kevin matthews i'm giving you your time but two things <laughs> first it is not sponsored by the bjp the film wasn't made by the bjp and second the taxpayers money the did not was make the, B- by yeah. the bjp so go ahead. the movie was promoted hmm. by the bjp okay. the movie was promoted by the bjp okay Can the I bjp leaders please? came yeah. out and promoted the movie hmm okay it is because it is a propaganda Can movie and even the director of the movie has come out and he hmm. is a bjp who is very pro bjp and he has come out and he, and even the movie promotions the up government gave a lot of uh, you know tax rebates for the movie okay so a movie so, where a state government essentially let me go across to charu pragya a state government giving tax breaks to a movie makes it a propaganda movie uh, a propaganda I, film I, I, for no 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 okay it, no it, it is isn't not, okay I'm just trying let's, to understand your uh, rationale. No, no, because your, state government uh, didn't uh, make now. It, it didn't become a propaganda movie because the state government gave a tax. No, break. I think you have some the facts. No, you have some facts mixed up. Because it's a propaganda movie. Okay. Not so it's a propaganda it's movie. Charu Pragya, it's a propaganda movie. Why should the state government allow it to screen on Doordarshan, which is of course a national channel, and the timing is suspect ahead of the elections? So. Well okay now uh, let's go back to one year ago when the movie actually released at that time cm vijayan said that uh, nothing in the movie is based on true fact which means it's basically entertainment if it is entertainment why are you stopping it or are you claiming that what is shown yeah. in the movie is absolutely yeah. true and but, that but is why you are afraid of it being screened fact. so first decide whether it is based on true facts or it is uh, merely an entertainment story that's the first the thing the second thing is your own high court okay the your high court in okay he says the movie has the claims it to be a fact I okay we accept that the movie claims that it is a fact charu pragya make your second point hmm. yes let me finish now the kerala high court today has declined to pass any order against the screening of this movie on television your own high court in your own state that's the second thing i want to remind you the third thing i want to remind you is that the kerala police actually conducted operation pigeon why don't you go back home and study a little bit and kerala police which comes under the kerala state government again cm vijayan he says that hmm. uh, this operation has found at least 60 potential isis recruits which live on in the state of kerala even earlier nia reports have shown only merely in the space of 2 years from 2017 to 2019 149 people from kerala have joined isis we've seen situation we know stories Ma'am, of women you, you who have, have come back from afghanistan and where not so you know what you, you are uh, okay charu pragya i have a question you for you just a second like let me ask charu pragya a question like charu as you yourself yeah. pointed out this movie was released one year back why right ahead of the 2024 elections yeah. is it being screened now in doordarshan it didn't screen then there were no elections then now there are elections coming up what about the timing Please. right so so tell me if you are talking about a screening right now do you believe it's not available on all the other ott platforms right now or is doordarshan looking at election schedules mm. to air any kind of a movie in the mm. last two years i believe this opposition dispensation has named every movie a propaganda movie let me also remind him that it was the state of kerala which allowed a hamas leader a terrorist outfit leader to address a gathering in kerala that okay. time i didn't see you speaking out so you're allowing terrorist leaders to address your people and that okay. time you're not worried about propaganda you're not worried about terrorism you're not worried about isis look at look at your thinking look at your psyche and it's unfortunate okay you let me take that across to lokesh jindal no, 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 is no, there no, a no, reason no, 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 why no, the no, left no, and the congress no, don't want no, this no, movie no, to no, be screened no, after all it talks no, about no, a no, congress no, congress no, regime no, that's no, the no, tenure no, that it's no, talking no, about when the congress was in power congress kya dar gayi is movie se and what it may reflect on their rule role look first of all hmm. we are not sure in this debate charu pragya in her first statement says that it's an entertainment movie so please tell me what is the genre of this entertainment is it a tragedy is it a thriller what form of genre i don't work with the genre is hatred what's your problem with the hatred 
If it is so true, you should allow it to be screened. If it is entertainment, you should allow it to be screened. It's as simple as that. Morality. And this movie, 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 this Let's let Lokesh Jindal speak because we are actually talking about free speech. It's important that every voice goes out, whether we agree or disagree. Lokesh Jindal, would you at least agree with me? Thank you, thank you very much. So when you talk about any freedom of speech and expression, any movie that is being aired, it must qualify the test of public mm -hmm. morality and whether that particular movie it might harm law and order or social harmony. Secondly, in her second statement, she started just. find the movie as if it's based upon historical research and a documentary so over here nowhere in the movie in fact the disclaimer itself clearly says that the movie is a fictitious work and it is not based upon any real event and any such comparison okay. is not something that is to be considered location so, the one quick question who decides country, right? if the high court clears it if the censor board clears it should independent states now decide whether a movie should be available to people only in that state or not is that free speech the uh, the movie has been rated by the central court yes so when when a movie is rated for a certain kind of audiences and the high court didn't see a problem broadcast. in it also no 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 giving it a public broadcast mm -hmm. can bring the viewership to certain form of audiences which are not guided paternally Hmm. and so doordarshan as a form of a public platform as a television platform airing such a movie what about the high court disastrous lokesh jindal high court high court so it, does not see a problem the high court the high court has not given any statement and it has not promoted and it has not stated that the doordarshan must promote such a movie it is based upon the state high court has, could have stopped this movie from being aired charu pragya no you can you can high court can never put a complete stop on any form of a any form of a literary work or an artistic work that is beyond the realm uh, okay what is what is going on okay uh, charu pragya high court doesn't have the jurisdiction so it doesn't matter what the courts have said cbse doesn't matter go ahead charu pragya i'm saying the jurisdiction i'm just saying the high court no the only person who matters in the entire world is lokesh jindal of course nothing else matters high court doesn't matter supreme court doesn't matter cbsc doesn't matter lokesh jindal let's quickly nobody matters let's Now, quickly listen, listen to finish. charu pragya she listen, she heard you out go ahead charu okay so hmm. now 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 even if i were to understand what lokesh is trying to say megna let's remember kerala is the most literate state in our country hmm. if there is any kind of a disclaimer i assure you the people of kerala are intelligent enough astute enough to know if it is an entertainment movie why are you crying if it is a movie based on facts why are you crying in both the ways you should be encouraging a movie to be screened that's the first thing second thing it is cleared by cbfc it is cleared by the kerala high court you need to remember that and also i don't know how many times i have to remind you it was actually the pfi that was banned that was operating out of hmm. kerala isis sleeper cells have been found in kerala recorded by your own police not hmm. just the central investigative agencies so please understand that if you have the goodwill of the people in your heart you are not going to hmm. stop a movie like that unless unless your core purpose is hmm. only to spread more pra propaganda it is only to do more uh, you know politics which is very divisive and that you've proved in your manifesto so i don't know why you're jumping up and down one year later about the movie no uh, please answer a question ma'am definitely we are running out of time but this yeah ma'am many would no, say yeah, it's time that we put yeah, politics aside in certain realms and many would say when it comes to freedom of expression free speech and this is something that the congress this is something the left has always very staunchly advocated and rightly so it should not be politicized i hope at least all of us here can agree on that but thank you so much unfortunately sorry lokesh jindal we're running out of time charu pragya for joining us as well as kevin matthews and of course lokesh jindal as always pleasure to have you on the show with that we wrap up the show don't go anywhere we return on the other side